Welcome to Firefox Basics Part 2. Last week we looked at the visual aspects of Firefox and like making it suit us better. That's Firefox Basics Part 1. This week we're going to look at the basic functions of Firefox to help us get tooled up for taking on the web. First, we're going to look at the quick bar. Second, we're going to look at keyboard shortcuts. And third, we're going to look at the tabs instead of Firefox. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at the quick bar. The quick bar is a very fast way of adding bookmarks without having to use that big bulky bookmark toolbar on the left. To add a quick bar item, all you have to do is go to the site that you want to bookmark like this, I'm going to go to YouTube real quick, and click what's called the favicon, the little icon right next to the address, and drag it down on your quick bar, and that instantly adds it to your quick bar item, so you can access it easily and quickly later. You can add as many of these as you like. When you start to run out of space, these double arrows appear. By clicking them, you can access a drop-down menu that shows you all the items that are not, that can't fit on your top bar. You can delete these simply by right clicking and hitting delete. Another thing you want to get in the habit of using are keyboard shortcuts. If you ever see someone flying around the web on their computer at seemingly inhuman speeds, it's because they're using shortcuts. Shortcuts are fast. Some of the most important shortcuts are backspace which allows you to move back. It's the same as clicking the back button, but you're just clicking, pressing a button on your keyboard. Another one is Control P. Control P is the print button. That allows you to print whatever you're looking at online. Control R is refresh. If you just remember the first letter of the operation you're trying to perform, a lot of times it's gonna work. Control B stands for bookmark. The bookmark toolbar over here is bigger. It is good for storing a lot of bookmarks. Um, you add bookmarks to it the same way you add to the quick bar. Just click and drag and add it to your list. Or right click and delete to remove. And then there's two more keyboard shortcuts I want to talk about today. You probably know them by now. They're probably the most useful there is. That's Control C, which stands for copy. Highlight the text you want, press Control C, now you've got it copied. To paste it, you use Control V, oddly enough, and that'll allow you to paste that data. And this is just invaluable for getting data from one place to another very quickly. <music> Lastly, I want to talk about tabs. Tabs are great because they allow you to view multiple websites at once in a single browser window. There are a couple ways to access tabs. The first one is a keyboard shortcut, Control T for tab. And that will add a blank tab to your screen, which you can use to navigate wherever you want to go. Another way to access tabs is to either run a search or go inside a website, and whatever link it is that you want to open, just right click and hit Open Link in New Tab. And that automatically tells Firefox to bring up a new tab with the link that you had just clicked. To move between tabs, simply click their names. You can reorder them by dragging in case you're doing research and you want to keep things in a certain order. And to remove them, just click the X button. When you run out of tab, the tab toolbar will disappear. You now know the basics for navigating and operating Firefox. For a step-by-step -step guide for everything seen in the video today, as well as a long list of keyboard shortcuts that you can try yourself, go over to techbytes.com. That's tech-bytes.com forward slash Firefox 2 for today's episode. We hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit about Firefox and why it's my favorite browser. From this point on, we're going to be exploring the web, so put your seatbelts on and tune in next time for Tech Bytes.